You are listening to an After Dinner Conversation magazine podcast. After Dinner Conversation believes humanity is improved by ethics and morals grounded in philosophical truth, and that truth is discovered only through intentional reflection and respectful debate. In order to facilitate this process, we have created a growing series of print books, a monthly short story magazine, and two different podcasts. This podcast, Philosophy Ethics Short Story Audiobooks, provides audiobook recordings of stories that have appeared in our magazine. And our companion podcast, Philosophy Ethics Short Story Discussions, is where we discuss the ethics of the choices made in the stories as a way to model the kinds of conversations we hope you are having about these readings with friends, family, or students. We would love it if you went over to check it out. I'm Roberta, your narrator and one of the acquisition editors at After Dinner Conversation Publishing. Thank you for spending your time listening to our podcast and for reading the magazine. Thank you for supporting us through your magazine subscriptions and through patreon.com slash after dinner conversation. And of course, if you enjoy this audiobook reading, please subscribe to our podcast, share it on social media, and suggest it to friends. Today's story is Soon the Sentence Sign, written by David M. Hoening and published in our March 2021 magazine. Soon the Sentence Sign by David M. Hoenig. Jason Sweeney sat quietly, his hand secured behind him. He glanced at the young, uniformed Korean woman who had arrested him. Marshal Huang Min Pak didn't so much as look up from her pad and stylus. She clicked a corner of her electronic device, consulted its clock function, then powered it down and put it away. It's nearly noon local time. We should get to the security tower in another five minutes, give or take. So let me clue you in, given it's your first offense. Sweeney hunched his shoulders submissively and remained silent. Marshal Pack settled back in her seat. Tightens the new frontier, Sweeney Todd. We don't have enough population or criminals to warrant a full-time legal system. Circuit court judges have a long haul to get here via interplanetary, so waiting for a regular trial can mean being imprisoned for a long time before anything happens. The transport began to slow, but it was just a bar fight, and he started it. I got your statement already, so shut up and listen. Pack put her hand on her prisoner's shoulder and gave a minute squeeze. You're not such a bad guy, but we caught you. Literally red-handed after slashing someone with a broken bottle, in an illegal establishment. You both broke the law. He's got his process to deal with, and you've got yours. She checked her pad again. In a very little bit, you'll have some choices to make. You have the right to a trial, so you can either eat survival rations in solitary confinement while you wait for a human judge to get here, or you can use the latest AI judicial package approved by Titan Corporation's legal beagles. Sweeney put his head in his hands. Great choices. Marshall Pack smiled when he looked at her. Take some advice. The transport slowed down to a halt. Life's too short. Don't wait for a circuit judge. If you're found guilty, you'll end up paying for your own prison sentence in addition to everything else. I've worked with Judicial Suite myself. And it's pretty comprehensive. And fair. I've seen cases where all charges were dropped because the AI personality matrixes found someone innocent. Really? Yeah, but the charges for attorneys, procedures, and all the legal stuff can really rack up. And, and I'm responsible for it eventually if found guilty. Pack nodded. But I could argue my case and go free? I've seen it, Sweeney but it's probably best to just plead guilty and take the summary judgment from the AI. Let the computer decide my fate? She snorted laughter. What's so funny? Ever since they started holding trials, Sweeney, someone decides the guilt or innocence of an accused. You think humans can do better than artificial intelligence? Sweeney considered that. The transport stopped, and the doors slid open. Marshal Pack escorted him to the security recorded his thumbprint at processing, and took him to an elevator. They went down several levels, and she stopped him at the door. It opened for her, and Sweeney saw a screen and a chair in an otherwise tiny, bare metal room. She took off the cuffs. In you go. What do I do? 
The computer will explain everything. All you have to do is make choices. She pushed him gently. Sweeney went into the cubicle without resisting, and the door closed behind him. He sat in the chair. The screen promptly powered on, and a computerized voice spoke from it. Jason A. Sweeney, you have been arrested on charge of assault and battery, assault with a deadly weapon, and public intoxication of an illegal substance. I was drinking in a bar and defended myself from an idiot. Outbursts will not be tolerated. Additional charges of contempt of court may be brought against you if you continue in such fashion. This court has reviewed relevant evidence and testimony. Do you contest any of the previously described charges? Sweeney blew out a breath before responding. <sighs> yes, all of them. If you are not prepared to accept a summary judgment from this court for the specified charges, you have the right to either be remanded to solitary confinement on subsistence diet for an unspecified period to await arrival of a solar court-approved judge or to proceed with immediate trial utilizing Judicial Suite 3.7.1 software. Two icons lit up on the screen and Sweeney tapped the one on the right. The display cleared. Thank you for selecting the use of Judicial Suite 3.7.1. Please indicate if you would like to accept summary judgment based on current evidence or if you would prefer to undergo a virtual trial using this software. Question, what exactly does summary judgment mean in this case? It would mean that you acknowledge your guilt on all charges and accept the judgment of this court in assigning an appropriate sentence. Hell with that, I'm with the trial. Thank you for choosing to undergo a trial. Judicial Suite 3.7.1 is currently being loaded into the local system. Judge 4.0 has successfully loaded. Jury 2.7 has successfully loaded. Prosecutor 3.1.5 has successfully loaded. Please indicate if you would prefer an AI defense attorney or to represent yourself. Judicial Package 3.7.1 and Titan Corporation strongly recommend selecting the AI defense attorney. Yeah, I want the lawyer. Thank you for choosing the AI defense attorney option. Please peruse the complete collection of AI defense attorney personalities available to choose from and their costs. He began scrolling. You got to be kidding. There's over 80 different choices. Indeed, Judicial Suite 3.7.1 offers the closest approximation to the ideal of human legal systems, including a multitude of matrices to allow the accused as much latitude as possible. Great. Who or what is Johnny Cochran? Specific characteristics as well as relative strengths and weaknesses of particular personalities in pursuing this proceeding can be accessed by subheadings under each entry. Once again, Judicial Suite 3.7.1 advises against representing yourself. But if I choose an AI, I'm kind of just choosing you, aren't I? No. For each aspect of this case, you will select a unique specific personality matrix to represent the usual participants in this trial. Sweeney rubbed his temples. I really don't understand how you can be you, a judge, opposing lawyers. Historically, the uncertainty of many factors affected the outcome of trials, personal biases of a particular judge assigned to the case, the quality of attorneys available, the specific person selected to the jury to accurately simulate this exhaustively comprehensive process, accused persons must be provided with the opportunity to make choice and allow for random probabilities which will affect the trial's outcome. And if you are found guilty of the sentencing phase, your choices will facilitate the exacting and complex legal process of a trial. Well, how am I supposed to know what to choose? I can provide you with legal advice based on a cost-value scale or if you prefer to employ randomization algorithm for any category. Sweeney interrupted. Can I go back? Specify. What happens if we just forget about the trial and I choose summary judgment instead? The computer's response was delayed enough that Sweeney thought it might have been offended. 
Judicial Suite 3.7.1 is prepared to accept your plea of guilty and to pass sentence based on a median level of punishment for similar crimes across the spectrum of human criminal proceedings. Such a sentence will be moderated by the personal circumstances of the defendant and commensurate with the cost savings to Titan Corporation, which would be realized through avoidance of a lengthy trial. Sweeney thought back to the advice that Marshall Pack had given him and carefully touched the cancel icon at the bottom right of the screen. Fine, I accept summary judgment instead of trial. After just a second, he added, please. Excellent. In light of the evidence and your cooperation in this proceeding, this court sentences you to a fine of 10% of your wages for the next 300 days. Abstinence from intoxicating substances for the same period as documented by Biomonitor and mandatory psychiatric evaluation and attendance participation with all medically recommended therapy. If you fail in any part of these requirements, you will be immediately sentenced to execution by being exposed to the outside environment. Please agree to all terms of the sentence by thumbprint on the screen. Jason Sweeney exhaled and applied his thumb to the screen. The cubicle door clicked open. Hey, Wang Min Pak smiled at him from the doorway. Is, is that it? Yep, I can get you processed if you're ready. What are you still doing here? She shrugged. I made a bet with myself. Wanted to see how it turned out. Sweeney stood. How'd you do? She smiled. Won it. Each of us in security had to play through a scenario with judicial suite during training. Really? Seems like an ugly way to treat an employee. Officially, the Corps was testing it for bugs and flexibility. But I'm pretty sure they wanted us to know what it was like. Because then you could give someone advice before. Her answering grin was wide. You're not as dumb as you looked back in Dome 8. Come on, I already told you life's too short for this shit. Now the discussion questions. Number one, if you were arrested for a crime you knew you committed, would you plead guilty and admit your wrongdoing? Or would you force the state to prove your guilt? Why? Two, if you were arrested for a crime you knew you committed, but you knew the government could not prove, would you plead guilty and admit your wrongdoing anyway? Why? Does your answer change with the nature of the crime? Why? Three, would you feel comfortable having an AI judge, an AI lawyer? Are there professions where you would prefer AI or a person? What is it about a person or AI that is compelling in certain situations? Number four, the AI system in the story takes into account the cost avoidance saved by pleading guilty rather than going to trial when determining the punishment. Should cost avoidance be a consideration in the justice system? And number five, If the narrator had gone to trial, he would have had the choice to pick between different AI lawyers to represent him, each with their own strengths. Do you think that it is fair that the different criminals are represented by different lawyers of different quality? If you think that is not fair, what, if anything, would be a better system of equal legal defense? And that's the end of today's story, Soon the Sentence Sign, written by David M. Hoenig. Next week, we'll be reading Echo by Jenna Glover. If you enjoyed this story, head over to our companion podcast, After Dinner Conversation Discussions, and listen to our discussion of this and other short stories from our magazine. We will include a link in the description. And of course, you can always continue the discussion on our webpage in the comment section or on our Facebook page. Thank you for joining us. And until next time.